This is an introduction to the air management system components and its energy saving functions. The air management system consists of three components. The first component is a regulator. This can be either a manual or an electro pneumatic type. Both are used to select the secondary standby pressure. The electro pneumatic regulator also controls the primary pressure setting. Next is the air management hub. This monitors the flow, pressure and temperature as well as controlling the other system components. The final component is the residual pressure relief valve. This is used to isolate and vent the air supply downstream of the system. A soft start valve is connected to this only when a manual regulator is used. The system functions in three modes, operation, standby and, isolation. When the user machine is in operation mode, the flow rate is high. When the user machine goes into idle mode, the flow rate drops. Once the flow rate drops below the standby flow rate threshold, the standby on delay timer is started. After the standby on delay time period has passed, if the standby input signal is still on, the system will lower the standby pressure. Any leaks, open nozzles or vacuum applications will consume less air due to the reduced pressure. If the system remains in standby mode longer than the isolation delay time period, the system can close the residual pressure relief valve, reducing leaks and air wastage even further. When the standby signal is reset to off, the system goes back to operation mode and increases pressure back to working pressure. We will now demonstrate these system functions with a practical example. The standby flow rate threshold is set to 100 liters per minute. The standby on delay time is set to 10 seconds. The display shows current pressure, flow rate, temperature, and accumulated flow values. Currently the user's machine is in running mode, and the flow rate is over 100 liters per minute. When the machine finishes production, a standby signal is sent to the system. This is an external signal sent via field bus, OPC UA, or a digital input. As the flow reduces below the threshold, the standby on delay timer will start. After 10 seconds, the display text changes color from red to green, indicating that the system is now in an energy saving mode. If the machine remains in standby mode for a period of time, the system will change to isolation mode and close the residual pressure relief valve. For this demonstration, we set the isolation delay time to 20 seconds. When the machine is ready to start production again, it releases the standby signal. The pressure will now increase back to operating pressure. This concludes this introduction to the air management system and its energy saving functions.